Hi, I'm Tom Lydon, editor of ETF Trends here in Chicago with the Morningstar ETF Conference. Here with Rolf Agathar from FTSE Russell, Tony Davidow from Charles Schwab. Gentlemen, thank you. And it's great to have you both together. And I know you both, and both of your firms, work hard on helping educate advisors. Talk about some of your initiatives. Yeah, I, th I think we're at a very good place as an industry. I, I can recall five years ago having the difficult discussion, do these smart beta strategies work? Now I think collectively we're both spending a lot of time educating advisors on how they're different. What's the difference between a fundamental versus a momentum strategy? How does equal weight work and how does that compare to quality and other factors? So it's a really great place where we're starting to get past the why and really understand the how. And, and I think it's great for both of our firms and both of our initiatives to better educate advisors. Yeah, I think obviously Schwab and FTSE Russell are, are very aligned on the need for education. I mean, if you look around the room, there's a lot of uh, new products out there, great products, um, but as more and more products come to market, as investors have more and more choices, they need more information and education about how, how those products work. I, I think you're hitting the nail on the head. With close to 2,000 ETFs out there, are we getting to the point where it's too many? Or the other point is, do we need new ones? Are the ETFs that we have available right now, for example, we've moved from cap-weighted indices to single factor to multi-factor. Rolf, some of these single factor strategies really work quite well, right? Right, and I think, you know, I would, I would hate to be the one to say there's too many strategies. I think, in a, you know, in a free market society, we want there to be choice for consumers, but I think that needs to be informed choice. So again, back to, we really need to make sure people are educated about these products. You know, the markets will determine which products succeed or fail. I think, you know, what you just mentioned, you know, we really want to remind people that there's a lot of great strategies that have been around quite a while now, like cap-weighted, like fundamental, um, even as much as now we're talking about some of these newer products. So what are some of the main things that advisors are interested in today regarding ETFs. What are when you when you talk up to hundreds or thousands of advisors, what are some of the things that they're really latching on to? Yeah, and I think it's it's a great point in time because again I think now we're really focused on portfolio construction. Yeah. How do you build better portfolio? How do you use these better tools that we've introduced to the marketplace to have better outcomes for clients? And again a lot of the research that we're really focusing on is how do we distinguish amongst this smart beta landscape, right? It's a term that gets thrown around a lot and oftentimes people expect, expect the same outcomes, but certainly a year like 2015, momentum was a winning strategy. There's a lot of momentum in the market, one of the best performing strategies. If you look at a 2016, strategies like low vol and fundamental do well. So one of the things we're doing is we're trying to educate advisors so they understand in advance they're different, they're solving for different outcomes in the markets, they're exploiting different factors to provide different outcomes, and if the advisor understands that better in advance, they can build better portfolios. So again, I think a lot richer dialogue on how to incorporate these in providing better outcomes. And the one thing I will hit on, which I think is important, we haven't given up. We think there is a role for market cap portfolios. We actually think they serve as a valuable complement. So as we've evolved and evolved, let's not forget about what has worked well sure. historically. Respect what's been there, yep. but also embrace innovation. Speaking of innovation, Rolf, what would we expect in the indexing world in the next three to five years? Yeah, I think obviously a lot of work has gone into factors. There's been a lot of discussion about individual factors, and now we're looking at what we call multi-factor. So how do you combine these factors in a meaningful way? We know that you know, in, in investing, one of the biggest, most powerful tools you have is diversification, and so factors are no different. They are not correlated over uh, long periods of time. Um, some factors behave differently in different market cycles, so the ability now to combine those factors unleashes that power of diversification to the investor. Absolutely. Rolf, Tony, thanks gentlemen. Great seeing you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you. Tom. Thanks, Tom.